Mexico Tech professor and his student have been featured on a national newscast in Australia for a study on lightning. The two went to Australia to get a better understanding of why lightning strikes and what it strikes. News 13 Stephanie Chavez has the story. The scientists have used high tech equipment to make new discoveries about how lightning behaves. Those scientists are New Mexico Tech professor Dr. Richard Sonnenfeld and his student Daniel Jensen. The two visited Calgary, Australia in January to conduct research on lightning. It was summertime in Australia, which was the point. We study thunderstorms and they are in New Mexico in the summer, as you know, and they have a similar pattern. The goal of the study is to understand how lightning decides what to hit so engineers can build more reliable lightning rods to prevent lightning from striking things like wind turbines. But if you don't understand how lightning decides where to hit, it's hard to solve. While Dr. Sonnenfeld studies lightning year round in Socorro, Australia provided a different opportunity for their research. Called Kalgoorlie, um, which uh, uh, is part of the mining industry, and they had uh, what are called mine head frames. They look a lot like the Eiffel Tower. And so we set up our instruments to observe thunderstorms from there, and we were hoping to see lightning strike other similar towers. So the duo spent four months in Calgary. This week, their work was featured on an Australian Broadcasting Corporation newscast, reaching nearly 25 million people. It's always nice to, to get um, your face out there and also bring some awareness. I don't know if a lot of people realize that lightning research is an active, ongoing field. Jensen says he didn't expect the story to go national, but they're both grateful for the exposure. There's nothing like a national uh, publication to... Uh, increase awareness of the value of earth science. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. Well, their trip and research was cut short by the pandemic. They returned to the U.S. in April and are now putting together their report.